On the inquiry, we'll be seeking to hunt down and pick the brains of young people out in society making a difference. Some, I dare say, with more power and influence than myself. One such person is Ellen Sandal, who is the Victorian Director of the Australian Youth Climate Coalition, and she joins me now. Thank you so much for joining me on the program today. No worries, Paul. Now, I don't know much science. I don't really understand uh, climate change, the environment. So what is the problem there? What's going on? Just, just straight up. <laughs> well, everyone knows about climate change, right? I don't. Really? I'm a fool. <laughs> so you've heard about this problem of global warming, climate change? Well, I've heard about global warming, which I like the idea of. It's like more t-shirt weather around Melbourne sounds like a good idea to me. It does sound like a kind of good idea, doesn't it? Especially in the winter, but it doesn't really work like that. Okay, so what, what is actually happening in the climate? Well, because of the greenhouse gases that we're putting into the atmosphere as a society, the, the Earth is essentially warming. So by the end of the century, we could have several degrees of warming, which is going to have catastrophic, catastrophic impacts. So rising sea levels, more extreme weather events, um, more frequent and longer droughts and bushfires and things like that. All right, but the plus side uh, is that the water level will rise, so more people will have beachfront property, right? I guess you could think of it like that, but then where are we going to accommodate the thousands of people in the Pacific Islands who will lose their homes because their islands go under? You make a good point. Um, what is the government trying to do? The government, I heard they're trying to pass this uh, ETS legislation, mm -hmm. uh, but it got knocked out in the Senate. Uh, the opposition um, objected to it. They, they knocked it down. Sure. Is this because the opposition wants the nat nature to die? Well, you could think of it like that, really, in terms of what they're actually doing. It's not a very good and a hopeful sign for the young people of the world and the people who want to stop global warming. So essentially the government's trying to put in an emissions trading scheme which will put a cap on the amount of carbon emissions that we put into the atmosphere but the opposition has blocked it and also the government's scheme actually isn't strong enough to actually protect our future and stop climate change. So they're putting a cap on carbon emissions, but that cap's not strong enough. All right, so both sides of politics, they're not quite getting it right. Is this where not. the uh, Australian Youth Climate Coalition comes into play? Definitely. All right, so what, what is, what's going on with your organisation? So we're a climate change non-profit organisation. We're a coalition of over 30 youth organisations from around the country who've come together to say, we really want a safe climate for our future. So we do a lot of lobbying and advocacy work. We do a lot of education and work with high school students and young people, really raising their voices on the issue of climate change. So allowing young people to tell the government what kind of climate policies we want, because we'll be the ones who are around in 2050 when the politicians have died. Well, this is my we'll, problem. We're the ones. Exactly right. Is the fact that old people are just like, well, I don't care because it's, I'm not going to be around. It's mm -hmm. just young people. Um, I guess... Uh, I guess, what, I mean, what, are, are we having an effect? Do they even care about what young people have to say about this? Well, definitely they need to care because we'll be the ones around to inherit the earth mm. and we're also the future voters, so they really need to listen to the, the views of young people on this issue. Yeah. Well, speaking of voting, you do have this Youth Decide mm -hmm. uh, uh, initiative coming up. Can you tell us about what that's all about? Sure. So this is giving the young people of Australia, so people aged 12 to 29, the chance to vote on what kind of world they want to inherit. So we'll be presenting young people with a few different scenarios based on if the government accepts um, certain kinds of policies, this is what the world's going to look like. We'll be giving them a range of scenarios and getting young people to vote online for the scenario that they want, the kind of world that they want to inherit. And that'll be all next week online at youthdecide.com.au. And then once that vote's over, we'll be presenting the results to the government to say, young people have spoken, this is what young people want, so this is what you need to act on. Right. Does one of the options have free theme parks involved? You know, that's a pretty good idea. I'll put it to our team. What, what are the different alternatives that are being offered? So different scenarios based on different targets. Okay. So at the moment, the government has set a target of reducing carbon emissions 4 to 24% by 2020 based yep. on 1990 levels. So that'll produce a set of outcomes for the planet. And then if they present, um, they accept a target of 25 to 40%, that'll produce a different kind of world. And then 40 plus. Right. We'll produce a different so, category. I mean, when it boils down to it, are young people really going to be voting to say, oh, yeah, we don't actually mind if you don't reduce carbon that much and the world goes to hell in a half, handbasket? Like, realistically, is everyone mm -hmm. just going to vote for the high emissions cuts in the, at, at the end, end of the day? Well, it's up to young people what kind of world they want to inherit. That's why we're giving young people this chance to vote. So they'll get to be presented with the science in an easy-to-understand way and they'll get to choose what kind of world they want to inherit. So it's about giving it to young people, getting young people to decide. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining nice. me on the program today. Alan Sandal, the uh, Victorian Director of the Australian Youth Climate Coalition. Thank you so much. Nice.